Hi guys, so today I'm doing a foundation review and it's something that's been talked about loads and loads on YouTube at the moment and it is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. So, it claims that it has the lasting power of a primer, coverage of a concealer and the blendability of a foundation in one and that it's shine free. So, I'm just going to well, I'm not wearing any makeup at the moment, so I'm going to show you how I put it on, what I use to apply it and stuff, and um, just sort of talk about it a little bit and whether I like it or not whilst I do that. Um, so I just take um, maybe one pump on the back of my hand, um, and then I sort of just dot it all over my face. Um, I really like this foundation. Um, I think it's really nice. It has a really nice finish to it. Um, so I need a little bit more. I'm just going to do another sort of half pump. Because I can't really. And then I'm going to take a mirror. I just have my naked palette so I can check it. You know what I did pretty well. Um, I dropped my brush. Sorry. So I'm gonna use whew, my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which is like the most amazing thing ever. I'm obsessed, and. I'm just going to blend it out into my skin. So, like I was saying, I really do like this foundation. I think it, it does blend really nice. Um, it stays. I mean, I don't wear it for like, you know, 24 hours plus. But it stays, you know eight, nine hours. So for the majority of people that's pretty much all you really need. Um has a good coverage, can be that easily built upon, like if you want a really thin coverage then that's like easy to achieve because it blends out quite nicely so you don't have to wear like tons of foundation so that's good um, but it's really easily buildable so if you wanted quite a thick full coverage then that would also be like really easy to achieve as well without in my opinion looking too um, cakey which is sort of the main problem with wearing a lot of foundation. Alright, so that is done. And as you can see, I, I didn't put a lot on. I could have put, you know, probably another layer on and I think it would have looked fine. All I do with this is do this and then set it really lightly with a powder because I sort of like it to be a little glowy. It has a really nice finish, it doesn't go oily on me during the day. And I do have oily skin, so that is sort of a problem. Um, what else? It, it feels really lightweight on the skin, it has a nice coverage. You know, um, this colour is possibly slightly too dark for me at the moment. But they were all out completely of the lighter shade that they had at my price line. So just doing the best I can because I really wanted to try it out and the one that I bought before that was finished so I needed a new one obviously um, but yeah I, I really like it it's $20 actually not even that I'm pretty sure it's $15 at Priceline um, which is great for a foundation in Australia and it works really well um, I was using the Revlon Whipped Foundation 
which I adore more than anything and that's about $35 so the difference is pretty obvious and um, I think I like this one just as much for different reasons but I really like it the finish is lovely um, obviously I could go back and touch up any little spots that needed slightly more coverage than what I've put on um, but other than that I think it looks really nice it finishes nice it doesn't look cakey it doesn't sit into my like under eye area or like the creases around my mouth which I have a problem with foundations doing um, I love it you know you don't need a primer because it says it's got one in there all I do is moisturize beforehand and last thing all day so I love this foundation and I would really recommend it to people like just go out and try it it's not that expensive I think uh, I think it's worth it for what you get for what you pay for I think it's great um, but yeah if you have any other questions or comments please leave them below and I will talk to you guys later